Hello walkers and welcome to windy Georgetown, Colorado. It is quite cold. I'm going to zip up over the microphone a little bit. Hopefully that'll help but not be too muffled. Georgetown is this little town on I-70 that I have driven past a lot, looked down from I-70 and thought, wow, that's a really cool little town. I'd like to poke around. So today I finally am. My name is Henry. I will be your proxy walker, your virtual travel guide through, or as I take you through Georgetown today. Got a little zipper situation there. Um, love this mountain view, despite the cold. We are at 8,500 feet. I think that's 2,600 meters. Let me check that. I looked it up. Come on, you can do it, Henry. Yeah, 26, 12, uh, 25 degrees, negative three degrees Celsius. It is, I'd say, I'll tell you, three o'clock in the afternoon. And <clears throat> Georgetown is a historic place. It, uh, as I grab my gloves out, um, known for, it, it started out in 1859 during the Pikes Peak Gold Rush, as so many things did in Colorado. Uh, and I believe it, uh, that uh, oh, three o'clock community school. Um, good Lord, uh, got a lot going on here. A lot of squeaky stuff, huh? Whew. That is cold. Um, but it didn't really have any mines here at first until about 1860 something when somebody found silver up in one of these drainages and this this became a cultural area commercial area sorry Whew, altitude is getting me um and central area at one point it was had 10,000 people living here currently has about a thousand kind of turned into a stopping off point for skiers going up into the mountains and coming back to Denver. We're just going to look down the street real quick. <clears throat> this is fourth. Beautiful, beautiful views and settings. Dramatic location. So cool. And I love these old houses. Look at this one. That is awesome. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a Maxwell house. 1870. Love it. Love how well these are maintained. At one point, as I read from a Wikipedia article, there was an effort to make this the territorial capital instead of Denver. Very cool. Now, you can see I-70 over there and very slow traffic heading downhill. I believe that is <clears throat> the, all the thousands of people coming back to Denver from Vail, Beaver Creek, Keystone, Breckenridge, Loveland, A Basin, etc. Those are ski areas. But you can see they, they help give you a sense of scale of these mountains. And I'm just going to kind of wander around here. There's another town called Silver Plume uphill, which is, I believe, south, primarily south. Uh, and there's a little loop railway, loop railway park. And uh, so it's also a very popular place to come in summer because in winter, apparently, it's cold and windy. Pardon me. And so I'm just going to amble around <clears throat> and we'll look at these houses and then depending on how much time we have, I may break this up and have an additional part from the north end of town where there's a frozen reservoir. But I will save that until I know more. This is Georgetown Silver Plume. The 
Brunus Love House, 1870. Huh. We're on Tau Street, did I mention that? This is John A. Coulter House, 1875. It says renewal for a short-term rental permit, which makes me think you can rent that for the weekend or the week. This really is pretty cool to imagine 10,000 people packed into this valley in the 1800s. <clears throat> you no, know, I like that. I like that idea. You can also imagine how cold it was. This is just the houses. We're actually going to go downtown. We started off and headed away from downtown. And there's a couple neat little, there's a bunch of little buildings down there, including the old hotel. Hi there, hi there buddy. That's 1879. Coming up on Rose Street. Also up here, there's a Guanel Pass or something. I don't really know much about that. I couldn't find anything. There's a Guanel Brewery in town here. I believe up there. I think if you go up this road a long way, let's walk up there just a little ways. We won't go all the way to the, the pass, but we will go up and read the sign. There's the Rose Street Bed and Breakfast, if you're interested in that. There's the restaurants in town, um, a lot of little shops, obviously vacation rentals, and um, a couple hotels, I believe. Yeah, Guanella Pass, scenic byway. I suspect that that is a windy road, but probably really cool. Uh, Guanella Pass, Clear Lake 4 miles, Silver Creek Junction 85 miles, 8.5, sorry, Grant Highway 24 miles. You can kind of see the highway up there. But we're going to head back down to the downtown area. This house, it says 1870. It says Rose Street. You can see the mountains stretching out into the distance. There's another town somewhat bigger than this called Idaho Springs that's downhill towards Denver from here. Looks even a lot more touristy but bigger. They even had a Starbucks I saw. Let's go down here. We won't go quite to downtown just yet. We will get there though, I promise. Looking at how fast the traffic is going back towards Denver, I am uh, kind of dreading it. <clears throat> it's going to be a long drive back, but that's okay. I'm not in a hurry. Nice little picket fence here. Coming up on Argentine Street. Argentine, of course, Argentina, but Argentina is named after, I think, silver. Fun little dirt road. the Hamel House Museum over there. It's like quite the mansion compared to the rest of this 
these houses. They're super cute, but <clears throat> they don't look well insulated. I mean, I'm sure they've been modernized, uh, but I bet they're hard to heat and just smaller than modern houses. That's an interesting one, this green one. I wonder if it's an old hotel or something. This one could use some paint on the fence. It's been a while. I imagine these things are very difficult to maintain. Let's go over here. Cornish House, 1892, Thomas Cornish. This is uh, 4th Street. And I don't believe I can get through up there. Well, maybe, but we're still going to go one more block down Argentine. Can you almost hear the piano playing? Wagons rolling, horses neighing, the tumult of a mining town. This is Finance Office, Clear Creek, Clear Creek County Finance Office. This is actually the county seat, from what I understand, of Clear Creek County. This house was 1869. This building over here was somewhat later. I, there's like a lighthouse or a bell tower, I guess, over there next to the school. I'm not quite sure what that building is. We'll head up there, there in a minute and maybe we'll find out. <clears throat> I suspect that there's not a lot of people stopping off, at least in the winter, in the, uh, to, to stop here. Maybe on the other end of town that's modern. With gas stations and that sort of thing but for now I think people bypass it looks awesome though if you had a good brewery or a good restaurant here that'd be sweet this looks like a jail it is amazing oh, how uncomfortable that wind is outlaw jail 1883 $700 they used to build that. Coming up on the Georgetown Post Office. Some, let's go see this mining equipment. It's pretty cool. And then this must be Clear Creek right here. Mostly frozen, but still flowing. <laughs> I'm, depending on how this audio turns out in post, you may just uh, may just turn this all the way down. There's an end down there. Let's go here, uh, up 6th Street. This is the Georgetown Community Center and Visitor Information, train tickets. Whew. like an old train depot over there.
Look at this kind of view into the sun. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a library over there. Little bandstand, but that's fun in the summer. In better times, anyway. All right, this is Rose Street again. That's a pretty sweet building. Too bad to see it out of business. Grizzly Creek Gallery. A lot of galleries in here. And this is interesting. I like this kind of this outdoor seating. It's obviously been here for a while, but it's like little stalls. Maybe they're not seating. Maybe it is a little fair or market. Christmas market. But that's fun. Let's go out in the middle of the street because that's the best place to walk and see some of these buildings and the mountains stretching up. Very cool. <laughs> Look at this. Just the scale of these mountains is incredible. And that wind is brutal. And it can't quite make up its mind to which direction it's gonna come from. Okay, we're coming up on Tau Street, kind of where we started. This is also a public parking lot. I think this is the police station up here on the left. But over here, the Hotel Paris Museum. It's a cool, looks like a cool old hotel. I'd love to go in there and uh, explore in better times. Let's go over there and read the plaque. Whew. 1875 to 1890, Frenchman Louis Dupuy came to Georgetown. It's a neat old building too. I like how you can see as we go along the uh, size of the mountains, the parallax of the view. I have to be honest with you, I'm a little excited to put the wind at my back here. The Georgetown Energy Museum. Hmm. I'm not sure I have an interest in that one, but surely others might. Here we go. Another awesome view. So cool. All right, we'll keep going, don't worry. Smell the pine trees, spruce trees. 
We're on Griffith, I think it is. Griffith, yeah, and this is 7th. I just can't get over that view. It's so epic and like a romantic painting. And that's kind of what intrigued me coming down I-70, looking down into this valley. And there's this like little gingerbread town. Look at this place. I'm not sure that's historic. It's beautiful though. There's another notice of short-term rental. Look at the, the siding has been blasted, not today obviously, but over years, the paint has been blasted off the siding. All right, we're gonna make our way down there. Yes, let's do that. We get to keep the wind at our back a little bit. I think that this is Rose Street again. Quilted Pearl. It's a fabric shop, I think. Gifts, yarn, and classes. 1875. <clears throat> this is kind of interesting. The silver painting on the porch, but also below the window looks like some pressed metal uh, siding kind of things, decorative deals. That's 1875. Have to remember that sometimes people want to drive down the streets. 1872, even though I'm using them to walk on. Tau Street, not Rose Street. My apologies. This is the Georgetown Heritage Center. Interesting building. It used to be a public school. 1874. Now that's impressive building for 1874 in what was basically a territory, I believe. I don't know when Colorado became a state. But where I live in Montana, not a lot was going on in 1874. All right, this is the first Presbyterian church on the right, and that's 1874. Another creek coming through town here. <clears throat> it's probably a nice place to hang out in the summer. Oh, native plant demonstration garden, that's cool. I like that. Somebody's heating with wood. I like that too. Ninth Street. <clears throat> Again, people trying to use the road for their cars. Just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, this is a church of some sort. 1873 for the green building. It's a pretty house too, huh? This house is 1874. <clears throat> I've been filming a bunch today and I think my voice is getting a little raspy.
It looks old, but it doesn't have a sign, so it must be new. Kidding, again. No, I think that's probably another old one. Uh, this looks pretty old, too. I think all of these are, of course. But 1879, getting into the new section of town. So that's 1882 over here, as is this, 1882, and but that one's 1872. I love this sign up here, speed limit 15 mil miles an hour, but the funny part, and this is 10th Street, is that it's got a teeter-totter sign, like, <laughs> watch out for teeter-totters. It's a sweet playground, though. Hey, pup. Old Missouri. That's all front and no rear. Looks like a garage. Ooh, sleigh rides. There's a sign advertising that at least. I suspect they need a little more a little more snow. down to Park Street and we're gonna make a left on Park Street. Ooh, fun. But first we're gonna look at this baseball field. <laughs> this is this is great. Uh, what is normally a, I guess a baseball field or a little league field has been uh, turned into a hockey rink. Put up some low walls, flood it with water, and let it freeze. You can got hockey gear, skates. I'm guessing you can use those skates. Um, and you can play hockey or skate. Super fun. I wonder if they have size 13. I'm not insured well enough uh, to go ice skating by myself right now. Uniquely American worry. Here's a Vietnamese noodle soup bar and grill, Pho Bay. Pho Bay. I don't know how you say that. I say burr. <clears throat> it's kind of nice they have these barbecue facilities out here. You can come out and have a cookout. Not today, though. <laughs> Cook in today. <clears throat> There's some clouds just sort of hanging out a uh, little bit up the, the valley. Been there for an hour or so. They haven't really moved. I think they dissipate as soon as they get down low.
That's obviously not 1875, more like 1975. But right next to it is a good one. You know, walking around out here, I just cannot help but think, one, how rough it must have been here in the winters in the 1870s. You're probably heating with wood, <clears throat> which is accessible, but a lot of work to get and split and repair for the furnace. Or coal, probably not in the 1870s. Um, and the manure and the smoke and the sounds. And plus it was probably, you know, a little ice age back then, so uh, probably pretty cold, even colder than now. Uh, and it's pretty, actually pretty mild. It was in the negatives here last week, I think. And, uh, you know, here. Back then, these houses weren't insulated particularly well. You just wear a lot of clothes, I guess. I guess if you're out of the wind, it's not so bad. It's that wind. Pretty interesting, ornate uh, work around the edges here. Interesting door. The Bowman White House, White Bowman White House, 1892. I like this iron fence. <clears throat> hitching post. Oh, need a hold, uh, I don't, I doubt this works, but it's an old gas lantern. Let's take a look real quick just to see that. I don't know, they've got modern wicks in there. Maybe they fired that thing up. I brought a cooler with me with one of those little freezer pack blue things that has obviously thawed. And I left it out on top of my car. Hopefully it'll uh, freeze back up a little bit. This is 8th Street. An old Buckley garage. The Dusty Rose Tea Room in Ophelia's Antiques in that yellow house. <clears throat> Pardon me, we're gonna go over here. Check out, I thought there was like an inn. This is it. <clears throat> the Clear Creek Inn, hand-blown glass gifts. It says they're open. Oh, well, the gifts are open. The are no vacancies in the hotel. can hear the semis in low gear coming down the hill. A 
old TP. Now you see those, I'm gonna walk over here. Uh, these, just next to the left of the TP is um, some Canada geese silhouettes. And my dad, back in the 50s or 60s with a friend, made some of those silhouette decoys. You, these are fun little chairs uh, in this cool log cabin. Anyway, you put those out when you hunt for geese. I don't know if those are more decorative or not, but definitely an eclectic yard. Kind of fun. What's happening up here? Okay, whoops. Okay, back to 6th Street. This is kind of the main drag again. We walked down it earlier, so I will just, uh, what, how, many, how many minutes are we at? 37, I've been out in this cold for 37 minutes. Um, I will sign off, I'm not gonna take you by the lake. Sorry, it's just a bunch of cars driving around on a lake. I mean, that's pretty cool and unique, but only so much uh, time and content, and probably for those of you on treadmill, not as interesting. So anyway, thank you for joining me. <clears throat> I really do appreciate it. Leave us a comment. Tell us if you've been to Georgetown or if you have another favorite historic small town out west. Give us your stories and your feedback. I do appreciate that stuff. I love reading your comments. Um, and subscribe if you haven't, so click the bell to get notified of new videos. And like, give us a thumbs up. That helps us with the YouTube. And what goes around comes around. So you guys hang in there. We will be filming more here in Colorado. So uh, check back or, hey, hit that bell. You'll, you'll get notified. Um, <clears throat> Anyway, I really do appreciate it. We will see you again soon. Until then, from Georgetown, Colorado, keep on stepping.